Hello and welcome to this short video in which I show you how to build a great looking grade or subject analysis using the DDD dashboard without using any Microsoft Excel or having any advanced skills in PowerPoint. So it's really easy to create a very good looking but also very effective grade and subject analysis um, using the data from the dashboard. Generally, you either want to analyze a single subject across various grades or analyze various subjects within a given grade. So in this tutorial, I will build a grade 11 subject presentation for term 2, 2017. So that's the latest uh, term we have uh, of data for. And I'll be doing it for the mathematics and English first additional language subjects at a district level. But depending on your access, you can do it for any subject you want, for any grade you want, at any entity or level that you have access to. So I'm going to scroll down to my desired district and then I'm going to click on the report marks uh, pie chart which will allow me to select the grade I want. And so as I said in the beginning, I want to do a grade 11 subject analysis, so I click on grade 11. I'm now viewing the grade 11 data for my desired district and for term 2 2017. What I want to do now is, if I click on report marks here, it'll take me down to the achievement section. What I want to do is, I want to look for mathematics or English first additional language. So here's the subject I want to analyze, the first subject. And what I want to do is, I want to present both the report marks data as well as the exam test pass rate data, plus the averages, plus the trend line on one slide. And so if we hover over each one of these, we see that this data is actually available. But it's not so easy to extract into PowerPoint. And so what I'll show you now is how to do that easily. So if we scroll to the top of the page, we can select the Reports tab, and that will allow us to download the offline report. And so if you select this when you're in a grade or subject view, it'll give you all of the information that's in the Summary tab. So it's a very powerful report to use. So once the report has downloaded, it'll look like this. So it's for the for my preferred district as well as my preferred grade and my preferred term. So now that I have all of this data in a PDF, it's easier for me to copy and paste it into my PowerPoint presentation. So what I need to do is I need to scroll down to the achievement section and we see that there's some additional information and we get to the by subject section. And so what you need to do is you need to keep scrolling down till you find your preferred subject. So for the first subject we're looking at is English First Additional Language. So here we go. So here I have it in the PDF, English First Additional Language. I have the report marks data as well as the data that comes up in the pop-up when you hover over it in the dashboard. And so an easy way to transfer this data or this information into PowerPoint is to take a screenshot um, of, of the image and paste that into PowerPoint. So this again is free software so you don't have to purchase anything but you will, know, you will have to know how to use the snipping tool. Um, so you, you don't have to use the, the one provided by Windows, you can use the one that's provided by um, or Apple or your Mac. You can even use additional software that's free to download. It's up to you. So just use any snipping tool that you know how to use and simply highlight both the report marks and exam test images as well as the trend graphs below. Once you've highlighted that you can right click, select copy and then in your PowerPoint presentation sim simply right click and select paste and now you have a full analysis um, automatically built for you and you can simply drag it like that. 
When Just an additional tip, when you copy and paste the image into your PowerPoint presentation, you'll see that it's a bit blurry when you enlarge it. So I'm going to delete this image and I'm going to go back to my PDF and I'm going to zoom in into the information I want before copying and pasting it. So I find that I can zoom in like that and you'll see that the quality still remains quite quite good. So now when I take a screenshot, so I'll select a new screenshot and I'll snip the same information like that and I copy that and I paste it into my PowerPoint it's now a larger image so when I decide to increase it like that so it takes up most of my slide you can edit this as much as you want then the quality of the image remains uh, or, or is a lot better than simply taking a smaller image and enlarging it. And here we have our first slide for our grade 11 presentation. We are looking at the grade 11 English first additional language. We have the number of learners here that are, that are, part, that are registered for the subject. We have the average pass rate of 90% on the report marks and an average pass rate or an, a pass rate of 85% for the exam test marks. We then have a histogram of the achievement by level as well as the average mark for um, that, that grade in terms of report marks and the same information for exam test marks which are your common assessments. Below that for the same data uh, in the above histogram we have the pass rate over, an, over a number of terms. So we can compare the Term 2 2017 pass rate of 90% to the Term 2 2016 pass rate of 90%. So that we see over a year's period the pass rate has remained stable and high at 90%. If we look at the exam test rate pass rate we see that it's a bit more um, unstable but still relatively high um, and we can compare the 2017 term 2 to the 2016 term 2 exam test pass rate. So with very little effort we're able to build a very detailed subject analysis for a grade. I'm now going to do the same for the mathematics subject just so that you uh, have an additional uh, view on how to do this. So I'm going to select new slide. I'm going to go back to my my PDF that I had just downloaded and I'm going to keep scrolling down till I get to the mathematics subject. But as you can see, you can do this for any subject that's available on the on the dashboard. So now I'm at mathematics. Again, I select my screenshot tool, my snipping tool. I choose new and then I select just the information that I want on the PowerPoint slide. Remember I have zoomed in now so that's why the image is, is, is as big as it is. Right click, select copy, I then open up my PowerPoint, right click, select paste, I'll then just drag it and enlarge it like that and now I have a English first additional language subject analysis for grade 11 as well as a mathematics subject analysis. The same information, the number of learners, the average mark, the pass rates, we have a histogram to see the different levels of achievement as well as a historical trend analysis on the pass rates. So the school, so the offline, if I go back to the dashboard, the offline report it's a very powerful report in that it has all the information that you would typically find on the summary sheet of the dashboard. It has all the pie charts and all the breakdowns as well as all the pop-ups that you might want to use in your um, presentations for each of the subjects. So again it's a very powerful report and remember the offline report will download all of the information based on the view, view you're, you're on. So I'm on the district 
10092 view. Obviously, this is the anonymized dashboard for grade 11 for term to 2017. So when I download the offline report, it'll be for this information. If I went to a regional level, then when I download the same offline report, it'll be for this entire region. So just bear in mind, just bear that in mind when you do put together your grade and subject analysis.